right, now let's talk about the way that Oklahoma beat Texas Christian. All that's coming up after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, Ken folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU-related, college football-related, sports-related. We have a good time. Tonight, we have to talk about Oklahoma Senior Night in which, yes, they got the 28-24 victory over Gary Patterson's Texas Christian. But it's the way in which they got that victory that matters most because it's college football. And this sport is unlike any other sport, in which case we don't just get to say that you won a game. We have to know how you won that game. We have to do, in November, this thing called style points. Now, it also bears mentioning that Oklahoma hasn't lost a game in the month of November for like five years now. We're talking about 20 in a row in the month of November. But my goodness, do they ever try and play with your emotions. It's like Smokey and Big Worm. And Friday, Smokey, you still ain't sold that way, Smokey. I'm, you know, you know, trying to, Worm. They broke these days. I don't think you applying yourself, Smokey. You smoking my... Man, I steal from my mama for I steal from you. And you know this, man. And then he pulled that piece out and he says, we'll see. It's kind of where we at right now because they playing with your emotions. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Oklahoma goes up 21-0 in the second quarter. It's like 10-15 left to go in the second quarter. Everybody's like, cool, cruising. Defense is playing good defense. Oklahoma's running... Jalen goes for 3,000, 1,011 games. He's only the third player in college football history to ever accomplish that feat. The other is Johnny Manziel, 2012. Oklahoma fans don't know all about that. Cotton Bowl much. And then Lamar Jackson, 2016. Both those dudes won the Heisman Trophy. Now, that's as good as it got for Oklahoma. Because after that, Max Duggan goes just wide left, not even wide left, narrow left on a speed option because a speed option, not an option option, speed option. So he just hit crease and he kept running. And Pat Fields had to bring him down to the six-yard line. And all of a sudden, he go for 62 yards, right? And you're like, cool. They punch it in. You 21-7. Then Jaden Hazelwood's going to catch this pass, and he's going to fumble this pass. And then it's going to be TCU ball. They're going to drive down. They're going to get three more. It's 21-10. Then Gary Patterson seems to have figured out Jalen Hurts and Lincoln Riley, which is to say that he knows that Jalen Hurts just can't see it. So instead of running his 4-2-5, he runs a 3-3-5. And he starts bringing a fourth man on a blitz. Exotic. Exotic meaning just not a down rusher. And Jalen still can't see it. And Jalen is off and running for his life. And then you go to halftime. And you're thinking, cool, halftime. Lincoln Riley going to get this cooled out. You're going to get this clicked out. The defense is actually still playing good defense. And we like to see this put together, right? No. Because with about 10 and change left to go in the third, you get seven more out of TCU. And all of a sudden, it's 21-17. Going into the fourth quarter, you extend your lead up 28-17. Thinking, all right, cool, fine. And Oklahoma is driving, running the ball. 16 out of 19 plays, you're running the ball. At one point, I looked down at Snatch Sheet up in the press box, and I saw, wow, Lincoln Riley has called 42 run plays, and there have only been 18 pass plays, and we riding Kennedy Brooks. Cool. It's like the whole state of Oklahoma is calling the offense now. And then on the seven, looking to punch it in, Put this game out of reach. Put this game dead in the fourth quarter. To go up 35 to 17. You gonna call a pass play. Not only you call a pass play, Jalen Hurts throws this slant route that you thought the CD Lamb was gonna catch. And no. Not only does it get picked off, it gets picked off and return 98 yards to the house. So instead of being 35 to 14, it is now. 28 to 24. Okay? Okay? Excuse me. 30, 35 to 17 is 28 24. Math. I got the master's in English and it's late. You know, I'm doing this at like 2 two thirty in the morning. Shout out to Steve Buller and his sister who's ferrying me back and forth while he introduced me to Tom Foolery. But I'm a little I'm a little baked. And I'm trying to do this right now because I got the Thorpe Award thing on Sunday evening. So I'm I'm anyway. Point is is a ball game. And it was still a ball game that Oklahoma was supposed to lose, but along the, or excuse me, supposed to win. See what I'm doing there? We got Jalen Hurts getting jacked for his lunch money in broad daylight. Like he got scripted. Like he got mugged. Like he got stood up and stripped of this ball 
as he's going toward the end zone again. And I'm going, what are we going to have to do with this man? Don't tell me no stories about how he was working out with the ball in his hand post Baylor. I don't care. The man got ball security issues. Him and Justin Fields need to go take ball security one-on-one next year. That's all, that's all that we need to hear about all of this. But takeaways, right? Check it. One, C.D. Lamb is sitting on 999 yards. I know that because he only needed 17 to go over to hit 1,000, right? Need 18 to go over 1,000. I made this graphic for Jalen hitting 3,000, 1,000, tweeted it. It's cool. It's up on the Instagrams. It's on the Facebooks. I had this other graphic for CD when he goes over 1,000. And I said, hey, look, I would really love to tweet this graphic link, and I understand you run the ball. No. He going to get two catches for 16 yards, and that's that. So my man is sitting on <laughs> he's sitting on 999 yards receiving. Whatever. That's a positive, right? It's positive. You're able to run the ball. You got over 300 yards on the ground. Jalen Hurts had 173 yards on the ground. Kennedy Brooks had 149 on the ground, okay? That's positive. Negative. Jalen Hurts goes 11 of 21 for 145, two tutties and a pick. Those are the fewest number of passing yards OU has seen since the Russell Athletic Bowl. Yeah. Remember that noise? Remember that mess? Don't want none of that. But you still managed to get over 500 yards of offense somehow against TCU Gary Patterson. Gary Patterson, also, takeaway, still managed to sweat more than you as it was like 38 degrees and my man is all sweaty. Gary was getting it in, especially in that fourth quarter because he thought he had a shot. And I thought he did have a shot. And then, takeaway. Buki got the takeaway. See what I did there? Buki. Buki. See? Y'all don't like y'all no Buki. I love me some Buki. Buki, saved your boy Jalen Hurts' behind. Saved him. That's your man's. He saved your man's behind. Because Jalen Hurts picked senior night to have his worst game all year. And here Buki come. Now I got this pick. It's fine. I'm going to put this away. Which was indicative of what the defense was doing. Because the defense only gave up 204 yards of offense. 65 yards pass. The defense played outstanding football. Like I checked down at the sheet at halftime. And Oklahoma had held TCU to 0 of 5 on third down. No third downs. I experienced his defense came to play. Even as Parnell Motley was picking up those pass interference calls, being over-aggressive, we'll take that. If that's what it takes for Parnell Motley to be up in your shirt and to keep Jalen Rager from catching passes, gonna take that. Pat Fields came down, made tackles. DeLaren Turner Yell came down, made tackles. Kenneth Murray Jr. broke down, made tackles. Got to see a little bit of Kalen Kelly. He looked all right. He looked decent out there. Jalen Redmond. He's going to be holding it down next year. It's going to be Jalen Redmond. It's going to be LeRon Stokes. Going to hope to get something out of Perry on Winfrey. Going to get Marcus Hicks back in the mix. Going to get Mark Stripling back in the mix. Be all right. Ronnie Perkins going to go off. This was a good send-off for Neville Gallimore. It was a good send-off for Lee Morris. It was a good send-off for Dylan Fomtau, for Marquise Overton. Felt really bad for Grant Calcaterra, who ran out, leading him out in his jeans and his letter jacket. Get after it, young man. But for by and large, 28-24, you got a W on a night when Oregon did not. The fighting her and Edwards just ruined the rest of Oregon season. Now we don't have to talk about Oregon in no real way anymore. Georgia managed to get a 19-13 win against Texas A&M. More on Texas A&M, Texas in another segment. But the SEC had a cupcake schedule. You got 66-3 out of Alabama. As I mentioned, 19-13 out of Georgia at a and Kentucky put up all the points on Tennessee Tech. We saw Vanderbilt put up all the points on East Tennessee State. I mean, look at these teams that they schedule in week 13, man. It's trash scheduling. And then LSU going to put them all up on this FCS team known as Arkansas. And Ed Orgeron going to have to quote it today talking about we're not going to celebrate beating Arkansas. Arkansas ain't beating anybody in a very long time. Yo, with the shade. So I expect to see Alabama, Oklahoma, Utah move up. Ohio State make sure Penn State move down. Minnesota got a good W this year, uh, this weekend against Northwestern and noted Luddite Pat Fitzgerald styling on the most pretentious J school this side of Missouri. I'm for it. I'm down with it. It's going to hope that Oregon can beat up on Utah in the Pac-12 championship, cancel them out. LSU goes beats Georgia, cancels them out. And then we're talking about resumes in which Oklahoma had three or four top 25 wins, uh, whereas Alabama would have just the one. And even if Utah won a big Pac-12 championship, they would only have two, and that's counting the one that they would have had against Oregon. To date, Utah's best win is 6-5 and five Washington. It's actual bad. To, to say nothing of how are we talking about that Texas win now. But more on that later. All right. Deuces.